Hello and welcome to this introduction by the artist Matt Collishaw to his solo exhibition at the Ginogli Gallery. Due to the closure of the gallery during 2020, we are extending the exhibition until the 14th of March, 2021. So we hope that this short guided tour will whet your appetite for when we're able to reopen. Matt Collishaw is a key figure in an important generation of contemporary British artists that rose to prominence in the 1990s. He first achieved recognition when his work was exhibited in the renowned group exhibition Freeze, curated by Damien Hirst in 1988, and later in the controversial Sensation exhibition at the Royal Academy. Both events were instrumental in placing British art at the forefront of the global art scene and have since entered modern art history. Collishaw has gone on to establish an international reputation based on an extraordinary body of work that tackles contemporary issues, often using imagery and technology from the past. Increasingly, he is also availing himself of modern technology, such as virtual reality, robotics, and animatronics, that is expanding the language of the contemporary visual world. This exhibition is a homecoming of sorts, as the artist was born here in Nottingham, and we're delighted to be hosting his first solo exhibition in his native city. The first work you see when you arrive in the gallery, in Gallery 1, is a work called Albion. And this is a laser scan of the major oak, which I've represented as a Pepper's Ghost optical illusion. But the first thing I did was to get a scanner and to scan the whole of this major oak tree. So I then have a virtual three-dimensional version of it. In the computer, I then rotate a camera 360 degrees around that tree, which gives me a video of a very slowly rotating point cloud map of that tree. It takes 33 minutes to rotate in total. I then project this video onto a mirror and then onto the floor, and then positioned diagonally above the projected image on the floor is a clear film which reflects all the light from the image on the floor. So it appears as though you have this slowly rotating ghost-like image of the tree hanging in space. That was ghost is an old optical used, used in Victorian times. They would use it in, in theatres, like for Hamlet. The, the ghosts in Hamlet, they'd have that. It's just a way of getting something to appear virtually in a space. And although it's like very low-tech in a way, it's still something that's, that's quite effective. And the laser scan is particularly good when combined with this technique because of its kind of ghostly, skeletal nature. And I was making this work at the time of the European referendum and there's a lot of talk about taking England back to a more glorious past. This idea of the old England when everything was as it should be, when there was no immigration and everybody had employment. This, this kind of idyllic image of England seemed to have been peddled and um, I wanted to make a work about this kind of ancient tree, which kind of looks like it just wants to die. But if anyone's been to visit the Major Oak, you can see that it's, although it's a very old tree, it's standing up because it's supported by these steel rods and chains within it. So this very old structure, quite sadly, it looks like it just wants to be let to die in a dignified manner, but it's been kept up. This, this, this image of the, of the old oak tree, which is an image of England, is something that's kind of like an illusion. And if you walk around the side of my sculpture and see it from behind, then the whole thing just disappears. So that this image, this illusion of this mighty old country is something that's dependent upon the paraphernalia, which is there to construct the image. 
So this whole idea of this myth of Albion, the mighty mythical England from the past, is something that's dependent on the language that that myth is delivered in. It's a construct rather than being a real thing. Mm -hmm.